So, so you don't believe in white supremacy. Don't nobody white tell you what to do. Alright, alright. You say that shit ain't real. Let me ask you this. Is it better to be white on planet Earth? Lighter skin? Or is it better to have dark skin to be considered black? That is the beginning and the epitome of white supremacy. Black at the bottom, white at the top. Now ain't nobody on here with a half a brain cell gonna say that that ain't the truth about this planet. Now was it always that way? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. At one time, black was thought to be the most beautiful. The Greeks said that. Marco Polo says that when he goes to India. The black men are considered the most beautiful. But look at it now. What has happened? I'll tell you what has happened. Let me talk to the black man. You gotta pull up here for a second. I'll tell you what's happened. We had power ripped off us, taken away, and we have been given this this status of a dog. And it's all our fault. We thought that people that were our friends were our allies. We thought wrong. We ain't got no friends. The black man plays way too goddamn much. That's what the real problem is. Black man don't want to do much but just sit up somewhere in a chair and just act, think like he's better than some other black people. And a black man will take that as opposed to actual power, as opposed to no no other man on this planet invading his kingdom. He don't really care or think about that. He'll be ruled by another man as long as he gets to front in front of black people, in front of his subjects, in front of the people around him like he got actual power. And that's something we got to stop now. Let me tell you, man, first off, we thought them them Asiatics, the Middle Easterners, we thought they were our brothers. They thought we, we thought that... Uh, we was all gonna have one religion under God, and 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 the black people that got in that, there was some, there was some actual people that really adhered to the religion on their side. I'm not gonna say they was all like that, but they didn't believe that. They didn't believe that. They wanted power. They didn't care about brotherhood under God. They wanted power. And a lot of black men under that religion sold their own people out. So they could walk around with some different cloth on and act like they they from the Middle East and halle de hilly de halle de hum. That was that was the first major time. Really, the first major time was the Greeks, but closer to us around seven eight hundred A.D. That's when the black man starts to go down, 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 down. The next smack was the European. And let me tell you something. Neither one of them men are playing, but the European man, he is really not playing with your old black ass. This man wants power and he wants to hold it. Not for a hundred years, not for fifty years, for a thousand thousand years. He wants to rule this planet and this galaxy. And black man don't want to do a damn thing. This man gets power from his grandfather and he gives it to his grandson. Black people don't even have life insurance. Playing around. This man is not playing. This man is dead, dead, dead serious. He ain't trying to walk and hold hands with you and sing Kumbaya and little black boys and little white girls get to run holding hands. You out of your damn mind so you can wipe him out? That's how he thinks. He doesn't think peace. He thinks war. Most people on this planet don't think peace. Most people don't planet on this planet don't think like us. They think war. Always. War, war, war. We're the only ones that play. I want to dance all day and sing and, and, and get drunk all day and steal all the money and not build up their country. Not everybody, but too many to count. We're the only ones playing. You want to not go for power, just work at that little rinky-dink job for 20, 30 years and then be mad because they didn't uh, take care of you when you went out the door, fired you right before you got to retirement. You should have went for power. You should have opened up your own company. The black man is bullshitting you. And let me tell you, that's them two right there. That Middle Easterner and that and that pink man. No, they ain't not playing. Now the, the pink man, he outdid the Middle Easterner. He he took power off of him. 
right around the 1400s. He smashed Middle Easterner. And we ain't on the same side with anybody. But let me tell you, this Oriental man, this China man, he's not playing either. I ain't got none for ad admiration for that man. Because the Oriental man, he stood up out of nowhere. Everybody looked the other way and they turned around and this man built a superpower. That man is not playing. And what do all three of them men do? They go around the world, they go to Africa and they put a foot up the black man's ass. Smack him around, treat him like he ain't nothing. And then you want to talk about y'all all brothers. Brothers in this religion, brothers in Christ. Stop. Stop. It's about power, damn it. It is about power. We will remain supreme over you. Now, we might have been a little bit too harsh. So we'll let you get a little bit of money. You can drive around in your nice car. You can put your Jordans on. You can even sleep with white women. But damn it, boy, don't you ever think about going for power. Don't you think about making a militia. Don't you think about picking up guns and getting organized. You shoot yourself, you don't shoot me. Don't you even think about getting organized against me. Ever. Don't you think about reaching out to them, them peoples in Africa, them black people around the world. Trying to raise them up. Get them to start thinking like you. Don't you even think about it, boy. Smack you down. And a lot of a lot of black men here in the West, they're okay with that. As long as they got their job, they, they car, and they Jordans, they don't give a damn. But any minute, somebody could kick in that door and light their ass up and shoot them and make it look like he was a drug dealer or he was resisting arrest or oops it was the wrong house and he had a gun let that happen to some Jews let that happen to some Jews or some Orientals hell will be to pay why because some people are going for power that is why white is supreme over your black ass because you don't go for power we ain't in this all together. Every black person ain't gonna make it. That unifying, we all need to unify. Nah, we ain't unifying with everybody. Stop. The few, the proud. The black men that are going for power. We got to stop bullshit. This man is out here training. This man is making all types of weapons. You know five nukes are missing from the U.S.? They don't even know where these nukes are, they're just missing. Oops. Small tactical nuke. This man ain't playing. He's going for power. He ain't bullshitting. That's you. You're bullshitting. You don't want to educate yourself. You don't want to read. You don't want to learn. You don't want to study the sciences. You don't want to get into STEM. You don't want your children into STEM. You want them to take the easy route too. You let them take the easy route. No. No. We gotta go for power. Power. Everything white is good and supreme and everything black is bad. Anywhere you are in the world, they will put a foot up your black ass and ain't a damn thing gonna happen. Including and especially Africa. Any part of it. White man come in your country and smack you up, I've seen it. Talk to you like a boy. Grown ass man, 40-50. Getting embarrassed. I've seen it, why? Because white, the lighter you are, you are above. The darker you are, you are below. For now. Now, if that ain't the truth, I don't know what is. Do you turn this off right now and go the other way. But if that is the truth, if you know that the black is at the bottom and everything lighter is at the top, these people that don't look half as good as us are not even half as intelligent as us are still above us, if you got a problem with that, then you have to link up with the next black person. And we have to go for power. We have to stop bullshitting. This is for our children and our children's children. Give a damn about somebody else besides just yourself. It's time to stand up and it's time to end this shit. Permanently and forever. We ain't gotta go for revenge. We ain't like our enemies. But God damn it, we gots to put a foot up somebody's ass. You don't just sit there while they destroy parts of Africa and just say, Hey, what can we do? You don't just sit there while you see your brothers in the diaspora getting hurt and beat down and just say hey what could we do you stand together we had a saying when I was a kid in my village it goes fight fight a black and a white if the black doesn't win we all jumping in and a lot of these other motherfuckers they think they white 
they about to find out the hard way too. Let him go. But for the rest of us, black first, B1. Stand up.